Hello, brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. I just wanted you to make you aware. Please be careful of where you're sending money to. A lot of people are supporting Israel. But think about it. Back in the days, I used to, two to three years ago, because I didn't know any better, I used to support the um, international fellowship of Christian and Jews and I thought I was doing a good thing because you're you know the commercials right the little Russian ladies that are Jewish that are that haven't made the Aliyah Ali, Aliyah back to Israel and you know they're cold they're hungry and yes it's a good thing to do humanitarian aid and to and to help them but to be honest with you all you're doing by supporting these organizations and read their mission statement all you're doing is fattening up the calf for slaughter that's all you're doing but organizations such as oneforisrael.org and I'm sure there are some other ones out there when you when you if you if you send your financial don donations to them their purpose their task is to for the salvation of the Jewish nation is to spread the gospel the good news of salvation that's what Israel needs the most every it's so sad every time I see an IDF soldier fallen and I think to myself wow <laughs> What a horrible way to die. But now, just like the scriptures say, it is a point of man for once to die, and then comes the judgment. So, the reason I'm making this video is not to bash the International Fellowship of Christians and Jews, but it's to bring you awareness that all you're doing by sending organizations that help with humanitarian aid is uh, to, to, the, to, to specifically people of the Jewish faith that do not believe in their Mashiach who is Yeshua all you're doing is fattening them up They're, you're fattening them up for the day of the slaughter actually it's not slaughter it's worse it's they're gonna be totally separated from God in hell They're going to be so thirsty, nothing to drink, and they're going to be conscious. They're going to be conscious with a with a new body, just like we get glorified bodies that are made specifically for heaven. People that are destined to hell will also be given a body that's fit for hell that can survive the torment of hell. Can you imagine being in a place, you know, you know, um, solitary confinement or it's completely dark? They use that as a form of punishment. Imagine solitary confinement, being in the dark where you can't see anything. You can't even see the hand in front of you, but for eternity. And you can feel the heat. It's so hot. Because the hottest part of the flame is the clear part of the flame. The bluish, almost whitish part. That's that lake. But then you also hear the wailing. People crying out. The blood curdling screams and crying. They're conscious, guys. They are totally conscious and aware of where they are. Just like we'll be totally conscious and aware every born again a believer will be conscious and aware of where they are that's why there'll be so much rejoicing in heaven so much laughter so much worship so much beauty just like God intended it to be before the fall so that's all I wanted to tell you be careful where you send your monetary donations. Don't help. Don't help people, organizations that 
don't want to spread the the truth the truth that will save them remember life is short but eternity is forever god bless you all